my friends, welcome to another list of video. Today I want to talk about the number one thing that you can do as a raw vegan to deal with cravings. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and head on over to some of my playlists. I've got recipe videos for raw vegan stuff and a lot of what I ate in a day videos if you're curious to see what I eat and how I ate and how I still eat to maintain my weight here after losing 70 pounds in about 14 months. Um, I'm going to share my before and after pictures right here. So as you can see, my weight loss was mainly from diet alone. I really didn't do a lot of exercise, even though I do promote uh, exercise because it's super healthy for us to do. I don't view exercise as weight loss technique anymore. I view it as something really healthy to do. And that's how we should view exercise. We shouldn't use it um, to justify eating things we know we shouldn't like your cravings. That's what I want to talk to you about in this video. First, I want to share a little analogy that will really explain the simplicity of this technique. It's really simple, you guys. I've said it a million times, but I want to share this with you in this video. Uh, pretend that your day is 2,400 kilometers of a road trip. You're going on this road trip and it's 2,400 kilometers. Every hour that you drive, is 100 kilometers, so 2,400 kilometers for a 24 hour day. Now, you're starting your day off with no gas and you have no idea where the gas stations are along this really long journey. So when you start out, you do have a gas station. So what do you do? Are you going to start your journey out with no gas? Of course not. So you're going to fill your tank to the top because you don't know when the next gas station is going to be. So if you fill your gas tank up at the top at the beginning of your journey, then you start to drive, you're driving and driving and driving. You get to be about maybe 100 kilometers in and you see a gas station. Now, what would you do if you were driving on a really long journey and you find a gas station and you don't know where the other ones are? Are you going to fill up the rest of your tank or are you going to risk it and try to keep going? Most people would probably stop and say, hey, I don't know when the next one is. It could be in 100 kilometers. It could be in 600 kilometers. I don't know. So I'm going to top up my tank to get me the furthest that I can get. So even if you'd only used a quarter of your tank, you're probably your best bet is to fill up your gas tank at this 100 kilometer mark and then continue on your journey. Some people would even fill up their gas tank and fill up a little container that they could put in their trunk, taking gas with you just in case you need something along your journey. So then you fill up your, with your gas there and you keep driving, you keep driving, you keep driving and maybe another, maybe 150 kilometers down the road you find another gas station. Okay, logically, you're gonna think, well, every 100 kilometers or so, there's a gas station, so maybe I'll skip this one, thinking that there's going to be another one later down the road. So you don't fill up at this gas station. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going, and then all of a sudden it's 300, 400, 500 kilometers down the way, and you're running out of gas. You don't know where the next gas station is. What are you gonna do? You are going to start stressing out. You're gonna start thinking of things that you could put in your gas tank that are gonna get you to the next gas station. This kind of stress is going to cause you to really only focus on the fuel that you need to fuel the rest of your journey. And then maybe you're down to your very, very, very last bit and you're just crazy and you find a gas station. You're so excited so you get there and you fill up and maybe you like, um, get some extra canisters and stick them in your trunk just in case because you know that if you run low on gas you're going to be stressed out and looking for everything possible. Now this analogy thinking of it as your day if you start your day off with a really good breakfast and you fill up and you know you go about an hour or two and then you're like ah, I could maybe have a little bit of a snack most people don't most people don't have pieces of fruit or you know maybe a, a little container of cherry tomatoes or stock you know stock up on some food fill up their tank by the time they get to lunch they haven't filled their tank up their tank is very low and you crave when you don't eat enough and you don't keep your gas tank full to the top you're going to crave 
and it doesn't matter. That is the biggest reason why they say don't go shopping when you're hungry because when you go shopping when you're hungry, everything's going to look good. Uh, whether you are raw or not, you're going to look at stuff that looks good and your body, all it wants is fuel. All it wants is for you to put something good into your body to fuel you to get through those kilometers, to get through the rest of the day, to fuel your cells. You need that energy and if you're not eating enough, you're going to start craving everything. And you're going to default to those things that you used to love in the past because your brain knows that you're gonna eat it if it craves it. You're just gonna be like, oh, chips, I could eat chips so much. So you're going to crave those things that you used to you know, connect comfort with or joy or anything like that. But if you can keep your gas tank topped up throughout your journey, the cravings almost disappear. And I'm totally honest about this. I rarely, if ever, have cravings unless I'm super, super stressed out, unless I've had way too much fat, or if I have skipped meals. If I skip something, I tend to just want to eat everything and anything around. Um, and it's just the way that the human body is. When you don't give it fuel, you're going to be ravenous. So the number one thing that you can do to control your cravings is to make sure that you eat. Make sure that your fuel is always topped up. Even when you don't actually feel hungry, you can eat a banana. Even if you don't feel like having lunch, have something little. At least let your body know that you're thinking about it. At least let your body know that you're giving it some energy. If you go too long without eating, then you're going to start craving. It's just how it is. And that is why I could never sustain a low carb calorie restrictive diet because all I did was want food. And I love this lifestyle because I can eat so much food and I can always eat. And I know some people don't like that or they don't have the schedules for that, but you can do smoothies. You can do, you can take along some fruit, cut up fruit in the car if you have a long commute. Somehow get those extra calories in, low fat, high carb, and it will really help with cravings. So I hope you somebody liked this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Facebook, Lissa's Raw Food Romance on Instagram. I am at Raw Food Romance and on Snapchat, Lissa Raw Vegan. So until the next video, guys, love y'all and stay fueled up. Prudon.